How's it going everyone? Welcome to UFC 259 Fight Predictions where I'll go into each fight that's on the main card and describe kind of how I picture the fights playing out this Saturday. Hope you enjoy the video. If you do, drop me a like, a share, and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let's get into it. At Bantamweight, we got Dominic Cruz versus Casey Kenney. It's a prelim fight. But it's a good one, so I figured I'd put it on here. Dominic Cruz, with his footwork, would normally give someone like Kenny a lot of problems. But he hasn't been active, and his last fight, I didn't find Cruz's footwork was really there. So with that being said, Casey Kenny's been active. And he does a lot of good movement and forward pressure, and he cuts off the cage well. And if Cruz doesn't move like he normally does, that's going to give him a lot of problems. And just not being active. So with that being said, I'm going with Casey Kenny to win a decision. Next up at light heavyweight, we got Santos versus Rakic. Thiago didn't look very good in his last fight, especially when it came to the ground game. But with this fight... I think he'll be able to keep it standing long enough to be able to connect with something big and put away Rackage. If Rackage is able to get him to the ground, I can see that giving a lot of problems to Santos. But I think overall, his takedown defense should be enough to keep this fight standing and catch him with something big. So I'm going with Tiago Santos, knockout, TKO, round two. Next up at lightweight, we got Islam Makachev versus Drew Doba. Islam reminds me a lot of Khabib, except I find his stand-up is better than Khabib's. Drew Doba has solid stand-up also, but I think Islam's going to put a lot of pressure on him, and he's going to be able to ground him, land a lot of ground and pound, attempt submissions, but I think Doba's good enough to be able to stay in the fight. So I see Islam pulling out a decision. Should be a good one. Next up is the first title fight of the night. At Bantamweight, Peter Yan versus Aljamain Sterling. Peter's stand-up is really good and also his power. And he moves forward a lot. And I think Sterling's stand-up is good enough to keep him at bay. And then I think Sterling will be able to push him up against the cage and get him to the ground and catch him in a submission. Probably around round three. So I'm going with Aljamain Sterling. Round three, sub. Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire... Next up is the co-main event for the women's featherweight title. Amanda Nunez versus Megan Anderson. Anderson's very big for the weight class. She's tall and she's rangy. And she's got decent strikes. But I don't think her movement is going to be good enough to stay away from Amanda. And Amanda has a lot of power. Her striking's clean. Clinch work. Ground game. If Anderson was to win, it would be a big upset. Similar to Holly Holm versus Ronda Rousey. But I think Amanda's going to put a lot of pressure on her and catch her with clean strikes and put her away. I'm going with Amanda Nunez, KO, round two. Next up is the main event for the light heavyweight title. Jan Blokowicz versus Israel Adesanya. Adesanya is moving up from middleweight to challenge for the light heavyweight title. Jan has a lot of power. But I don't think it's anything that Israel hasn't seen before. He's fought Robert Whittaker, Paula Costa, Yoel Romero. They all have a lot of power. And could have even been in the light heavyweight division themselves. So I think Israel's going to chop him up early with leg kicks. Similar to what he did with Romero and Costa. 
and if Yan rushes in similar to what Robert Whitaker did, Israel has very good counters and he can catch him early. But I think he's going to be able to pick at him early with leg kicks, kicks to the body, jabs, just things that will wear out Yan. And then eventually I see Yan getting desperate and trying to rush him. And that's how I see Israel catching him with something around round four. So I'm going with Israel to win round four KO. That wraps up UFC 259 fight predictions. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave me a like, a share, and a comment in the comment section below on what you want to see next. Until next time, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Enjoy the fights.